Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Vanderheiden and I am the Ag in the Classroom Coordinator for Scott County Farm Bureau. Uh, today we're going to be learning about watersheds. So to begin, a watershed is an area of land where all the water drains to at a certain point. Uh, it, could, it will fall into maybe a stream or a river or even the ocean or a nearby pond. So everybody lives in a different watershed. And to help you visually see what a watershed is and what it does, I have a fun video for you to watch. So pause the video and take a look and then we'll regroup and do a fun activity. So after watching our YouTube video about watersheds, we have a fun activity, but before we do that, we're gonna go over a few uh, points about the video that we discussed. We have, uh, in the video, I talked about how the water uh, falls and where it drains, and that could be draining into a nearby stream, or it could be in a river, a lake, or even the ocean. So all those water droplets are going to go somewhere. And some of them might be evaporated, but um, most of them are going to, be, going to be flowing into a nearby creek. If you want to learn more about uh, watersheds, you could always look up Partners of Scott County Watersheds on Facebook. I know they have a page on there, otherwise you could uh, uh, search them online and I bet you they have a website as well. But to begin, we're gonna be doing a fun activity to kind of help visually see what a watershed would be like. So first you need a piece of paper. You'll need a marker and you can do a couple different colors of markers if you choose. And then you need something to spray your paper with. So first we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to crumple it up. So we're gonna just literally crumple it into a ball like this. I'm not squeezing it overly tight. And this is basically, we're making our own watershed. So we're going to uh, take apart this paper and you're going to see uh, big creases in your paper. And that's gonna represent like if it was a, a hill um, of, on land or maybe it could be like, like, you know, a peak of a house. Like that's gonna represent like the way of land. And then inside is gonna be like your valley where there might be um, a stream or a lake. So I have my piece of paper like this and see, I'll back up a little bit. You can see how it kind of like uh, peaks up and it has a nice little hill or mountain if you wanna say. And then I'm going to uh, take one of my markers and I'm going to draw on the creases on the top of like where the big creases are of my hill. So I'm gonna do that quick. So I just colored my um, paper of like the major big creases where it had peaks where that could be uh, maybe a hill or a mountain or if you're thinking of this like as like your house or something, um, that would be the peak of where uh, the, it is crumpled up. And basically this is going to show you how there's many different kinds of watersheds and um, where the water will uh, drain. So I have my water uh, bottle right here and this is going to act like it's uh, raining. So like you're going to squirt it on your paper and you're going to see right away um, where the marker is going to bleed into different directions and that's representing where your rain would go into a different watershed. So to begin, I'm gonna take it like this and I'm gonna show you and spray. Okay, my uh, paper's kind of expanding. Give it a little bit. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get this part wet a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm gonna move closer to you so you can see this. You can see where that is draining and how the marker is bleeding. So it's going in different directions. And when you have this flat on your table, you're gonna be able to tell a big difference because some of the water 
um, that you spray on your paper, it's going to pool in certain areas. So that could represent a pond or maybe a stream. So you can see over here, like it's really leaning towards this corner. So that is representing a different watershed and going into a different direction of where your water is going to drain. So I hope you guys enjoyed this activity and you find it fun. Uh, please uh, send me pictures of your watersheds if you create them. Uh, you can email me and I would love to share them on our Facebook page and website. I hope you guys have a great day and you guys learned something fun about watersheds.